welcome back to my channel so this is as you can tell a travel video i am so excited it's been a minute it's been years portugal has been on my travel bucket list for so long and i'm just so excited and thankful to be here the thing with Portugal is there's like so many options when it comes to like where we want to go in Portugal so we definitely want to come back because we just won't have time to see all that we want to see in this trip um, but this for this trip in specific in this travel video we are going to be focusing on Lisbon we have a couple days in Porto and we're gonna be doing some day trips out of Lisbon so I will share what we get up to give you guys some pointers and really hope and like make this video helpful for you guys if you want to travel here. Uh, we just checked in to our amazing Airbnb, which I will give you a tour of because it is so stunning. This is the overview of the main room. There's a Patrick sunbathing like a little house cat. <laughs> Over here is the dining room. In here is the kitchen, which I'll show you guys. So cute. From the dining room, there's this little, I don't know what this is, little porch, something like that. It's really, really cute. The bathroom here. From the living room, you go upstairs. Up here is an attic with another bedroom, but we don't need that one, so I can show you it, but this is kind of the main bedroom area. So we have two twin beds here. And then through this door is the main bedroom. Super pretty, really clean. There's a bathroom in here. And yeah, that's it. a joke. I want 12 more. Group shot! Hey! It's our first official day in Portugal. As I mentioned before, we've got Alex and Dan and Patrick. Howdy how. We're doing touristy stuff in Lisbon today, so I will take you along with us as we go to all of the fun little touristy spots. I'll put the name of everything in the bottom so you guys know exactly what it is. this outdoor food market but it also has like a bunch of different shops it's like one long stretch of road and it has a bunch of restaurants we just went inside and checked out a few shops it's really cute um, and it's a really nice day so we thought we might as well I think we're gonna go to a couple more and then go to a little rooftop bar that's here uh, and hopefully get some good views Daddy Patty. 
Me we're, go too. we're going to Sintra today, <laughs> day trip. So come along, we're gonna go see some castles. Look at my dress. Tess and I are gonna Do try and like not princess? fight. <laughs> yeah. Try and not fight. Dan and I hate each other already. It's only day two, so <laughs> wish us luck. This got to Pena Palace. We took a train from uh, Lisbon this morning. Really, really easy. It was about 40 minutes on the train. We took a tuk-tuk and now we're walking up to the castle and you can kind of already see it. it. looks really pretty. in Sintra. We have decided to just do two. We didn't want to like overbook ourselves for our day trip. So we felt like this was good because we got lunch right before this in between uh, Pena Palace and this. So this one is really cool. It's very different. So I'm excited to walk around. It's already so beautiful. Buying tickets online, right? So much easier. You skip the, you skip the line. line. It just makes it so much better. You go right to where mm -hmm. it says e-tickets and they just scan it and you walk right in. And some websites even give you a discount. So that's a little pro tip. Mm -hmm. Portugal and we are in Porto. We took a train from Lisbon. It was about three hours, I want to say. Um, I slept most of the time, but it was about three hours outside of Lisbon. So we just got here and checked into our new Airbnb. Yesterday was kind of just a chill day. I think jet lag caught up to all of us and we just decided to take a quick train out of Lisbon into a beach town uh, and we just chilled. We sat on the beach and we drank some wine and just had like a really relaxing day. It was a little bit overcast, so it wasn't like a super sunny beach day, but we still just had like a really nice relaxing day in kind of a new area around Lisbon. So for the next couple days, we are gonna be in Porto. So we are gonna share what we get up to. Uh, it is so beautiful already. Like I said, we just checked into our Airbnb, which has a very different vibe from the last place we were in. Still a gorgeous balcony. I will say Porto is one of the things that every time I said I was going to Portugal, people said if you're going to Lisbon, you have to go to Porto. It's very underrated. So I'm very excited to see what everyone is talking about. <laughs> when we first arrived pretty much anywhere and that is find like a cute little outdoor 
cafe, get a drink, enjoy the weather. And everyone looks like they're having a good And yeah, we have no plan for today because tomorrow is like gonna be our big touristy day in Porto and like see a bunch of the stuff I have on my list. Portugal has by far been one of our favorite places we've been to so far. Uh, we wish we could stay longer, truly. And I was actually saying this, I met one of you guys last night. I wish I would have known about it when I was studying abroad because I would totally study abroad here. I just think it's a really, really like friendly, fun, lively city. Well, city, country, <laughs> but Lisbon in specific was great. Um, but now, obviously, Porto is already amazing. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we crossed the Dom Luis, I think that's how you say it, bridge. Cross the bridge over here. And now we're taking this little gondola down the hill. things in Porto today. We're gonna take you along to all the pretty spots. Do you guys want to say hi? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We love it. We just got breakfast and now we're walking around and seeing all the beautiful monuments, churches, food, and bars. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> So cathedral, it is so pretty. As you can see behind me, the walls are like nothing I've ever seen before. It's definitely worth a visit, it's gorgeous. It goes without saying, but I think my favorite thing is all the tiling. So pretty and it's so unique to Portugal so far from what I've seen and it's just stunning. We got these empanadas that some people recommended. Is it good? So good. Let me see what the inside looks like. Do you guys like it down there? Oh my god. Look at this one. Tomato and provolone cheese. It's so good. It's like a pizza. I asked for his recommendation, so he gave me an excellent one yeah. that I just finished, and this one's plus cheese. That's what I have. It's really good. good. Yeah. this outdoor cafe called Base. Very chill. We're just having some afternoon drinks after seeing a few things and just relaxing. That about summed it up. Leaf and there's a leaf blower. <laughs> we just came back to the Airbnb to change and get comfy, put on some layers because we are going on a sunset <laughs> cruise and i say sunset because with quotes because it's very cloudy i don't think that there's going to be a sunset but we're going on the boat regardless it's going to be really fun we're going to get really good views of porto and it's going to be a fun time we're going to drink some port which obviously is on our to-do list while we're here <laughs> so <laughs> Little update. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Cheers. But it's stunning. Okay, yeah. you guys, we're getting views. We're getting views. We are. This is the reality sometimes of traveling, booking ahead. Why Alex and I like went for the slick back hair look, and now we just look like. 